We started about four or five years ago and it took about, I think, 26, 26 months. And to train about a few weeks, two, three weeks. First we had a kind of training in Leipzig, um, driving on the streets, um, jumping over some hills or I don't know, kind of that. And well, later we had, or here in Hansel, we had um, kind of conditional training, running, stretching, all this. Uh, yes, we had to pack the moon buggy in our baggage. So we took about six baggages in, on the plane to put it here together in Huntsville. Yeah, we are happy, to, uh, we're glad to be here to, to follow our forefathers. <laughs> yes. Right, we're here at the start line and the safety checks going on here this is our team from germany they've been here several years and uh, they kind of don't want me to interfere while they're giving their safety checks so i'm going to stand back a little bit but you know let you take a look at their buggy uh, they're pretty experienced here um, for a high school team and i know that they've done a lot of work on this buggy i think they're finished now so i can talk to you what's your name hello my name is steffi i'm from germany and tell me about your buggy well our buggy it um, has the colors of the German flag, red, yellow, and black. And we had to transport it in our baggage to bring it from Germany to here in about seven baggages. And yes, um, l the last few, uh, few days we made some training. And for example, we did some speed record of 80 miles per hour. <laughs> I started this 80 miles per hour. Oh, wow, I'm going to get this on the 565 out there, but uh, 50 miles, that's, that's incredibly fast. What's your name? My name is Stefan Martini. I'm yes, from Munich. And is this the first time for you racing? No, I've already been here in the first year, 2007. And yes, we made a good job, and now we want to be better than the last year. Yeah, uh, last year, what, about sixth place, is that right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. And that was a big improvement. So you guys have worked really hard, you've trained really hard, and I know you're ready to get up to that start line, so we're going to let you go and, and settle in and get ready to take a bumpy ride across this course. All right, thanks, Lori. Looks like the International Space Education Institute is about ready to go here. Now, Frank, uh, I don't know if you can see on their, on their buggy there, it actually looks like they've got a... An upturned umbrella. Well, that's a high gain antenna. Every uh, moon buggy has to have a simulated, doesn't have to be operational, high gain antenna. There's seven items they have to carry with them. And that's, that's one of the seven? That's one of the seven. Uh, there's a high gain antenna, low gain antenna, TV camera, radio, flag, um, and some controls, uh, just like uh, replicating what was on the lunar rover. And of course, they're simulated. They're so, <laughs> so obviously, that's not an actual antenna, which would be impressive. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, the German team actually has put an on a real onboard camera that's on right. their buggy, and they're going to be recording it uh, to their computers, and they're they're going to actually going to see if that if that may help them tweak their future designs. Well, you know, our judges look at for all those items at the start line, and when they finish the race, if any of them are gone, they get a penalty for dropping them on the course. Oh no. Well, there they go, hitting that first obstacle, got over it just fine. Uh, in 2009, last year, they actually finished in sixth place with a runtime of 4 minutes and 27 seconds. And as it was uh, in 2008, the year before, they also finished in sixth place, but their time was 10 minutes and 12 seconds. Yes, and that's, uh, so that's, that more, may be that's a more common time, but that's, uh, they're not going to win the race with that. Unfor and I think that's more of a... Uh, more of a problem with again with penalties but looks like they're cruising along so far it looks like they haven't dropped that antenna that's right <laughs> or, or there any of their cameras they're rolling down coming down our rocket park area here oof bounced off got a little wobbly on that last uh, last obstacle there they are making that turn there that 90 degree well they're doing very well bill yeah that about back there on that along that stretch there is where the uh, saturn 5 rocket that that uh, is currently in the davidson center here used to reside you know that's uh the fact that they're able to get over these obstacles is uh, really a credit to the design that they've uh, used. And they've got a little bit of experience with this. As well. In fact, they, they in 2007 was their rookie year. They finished with a total time of 7 minutes and 13 seconds. So actually did really well the first time. 
Then the, uh, they had a little bit of trouble in 2008. So here they are coming down the uh, coming down the outside of the crater before they're about to go into it. This is where that uh, clearance under the buggy is so important. Because you can't exactly take one at a full full hop. See this crater I think in there has a uh, rim that's about 15 inches of above the surface. So you're either going to have to clear it in the air, <laughs> which you don't exactly want to go airborne too much uh, in these. It's a pretty tight turn, so they're, they're not going very fast in this crater. Let's see. Uh, they took best rookie team in 2007, and it actually last year they took, uh oh, I hope they didn't drop something. They both looked over as if they had, maybe they were just making sure that they, they cleared, their, uh, cleared their cones there. Uh, last year, they took the home the most improved prize, of course, for, for shaving nearly six minutes off their time. Well, and uh, doing really well. Yeah, look at them go. They train hard for this. And they're, they're actually, uh, we've, we've gotten lots of video and, and even some uh, newspaper clips from, uh, from their advisor who has shown us that, that they've, they're actually getting to be pretty well known yep. over in Germany. Yep. And they are, they are the team that has done more uh, propaganda spreading the word. <laughs> in <laughs> Europe for us than anybody else. And I think uh, we can expect Russian teams next year. Well, let's flip around here quickly. We just uh, missed the German team cross the finish line. Let's run right over here quickly and see um, what the condition of the track was and what the condition of the, the riders are. How'd it go? Hello. <laughs> we'll give you a minute, or not really a minute. We'll give you two seconds. Okay, now how, how was it? It was great. We, we had a, a, a good run. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I think th I think uh, she's not as out of breath as you are. You must have been doing all the work. No, I'm kidding. Uh, tell me how you're feeling. Well, I'm out of breath. It was so awesome. Well, is it worth it to come all this way to put your buggy parts in your suitcase and then put it all together when you get here and then to do this? What what makes that worth it? <laughs> it's worth it because you get to know each other, like other countries, like you, for example, and. Just fun. I'm gonna let you catch your breath, but uh, good job, you guys. That's that's gonna be a pretty fast time, looks like to me. Let's go back over here to the start line now.